Uh, on the back of our time in this passage this morning, we can thank God, can't we, that he's not just bigger than the obstacles that stand in the way of our mission, like the coronavirus right now. He's also much, much bigger than the obstacles that we put in our own way, in our sinful stupidity. Abraham let uh, his fear overshadow his faith in these verses. And as a result, instead of him spreading the essence of the gospel, he left the stench of sin and death hanging over the nation of Egypt. He became a destructive influence in Egypt and God had to intervene and rescue him and Sarai and the land of Egypt from that destructive influence. It's so encouraging to remember that although we can abandon Jesus and his mission to bless the world with the gospel at times, he does not and will not abandon us in our failure and sin and he will not let his mission fail because the success of his mission doesn't stop with us it stops with with him at the end of the passage we see Abraham running to the only place that we can run to with our failure and sin he reaches out again uh, in dependence upon Jesus through his sacrifice and he's totally forgiven and restored, isn't he? And it's reassuring to see that after the sin of chapter 12, God continues to use Abraham to bring his blessing, the blessing of the gospel, to the world. Now we can sometimes feel like we're too sinful for God, or that we've let him down way too badly for him to ever forgive us this time or, or for, for us to ever hope that we'll be used by him again but Abraham shows us that that isn't the case at all if he could find acceptance and forgiveness from God after he left the gospel in a pile of rubble in Egypt we can find forgiveness acceptance and restoration with God after the stupidity of our own sin well shall we pray now shall we give thanks to Jesus for his great faithfulness towards us let's pray Jesus we do thank you for the huge encouragement that this passage has been to us today um, Abraham let you down massively in in the land of Egypt he totally turned his back on the great promises that you'd given to him in the land of Canaan and and, uh, and Lord it's just so sad it's so sad or sad to see him uh, fall into a into a pile of mess in Egypt because he's quaking in his boots uh, because of the Egyptians. It's so sad to see him sell out on his wife in such a way and just to totally uh, just fall out of communication with you. But Lord, thank you that you intervened, that you rescued him and and Sarai and and, and Egypt from his hands, from his his sinful influence uh, there, and that you you brought him out, you brought Sarai out of uh, Pharaoh's household, you brought them out of Egypt, uh, you spared them uh, from him, and Lord, that you brought him back to yourself, uh, so that he might reach out to you in dependence again, through that uh, sacrifice, looking to you. And Lord God, that resonates with us so much that we can, we can let you down and we can fail so badly. Uh, but we praise you that this teaches us that our, your mission does not fail because of our sin. You will succeed in making Jesus known in this world. Despite us, despite our sin, you, you will uh, work through us. You will use sinful people like us. You will restore us and uh and bring us back into uh, that that relationship with you and with each other and with the world that we we uh, we need to have uh, for your glory. So Lord, we praise you and we thank you that you use people like us, that you bless people like us, and that Lord, we can look with confidence that your church will be built, your kingdom uh, will come, because uh, you are in control of that, not us. Uh, but thank you that you use us to bring it bring it about. Amen. Great. Well, we're going to sing uh, And Can It Be uh, right now. Uh, And can it be that I should gain 
uh, well, yes, we can gain. We can gain a, a relationship with Jesus. But sinful people like us, when we put our trust in Jesus, when we, uh, when we look to him uh, for the mission of his, his church, he will use us. He will forgive us and bless us in this work. So let's sing, and can it be uh, together? And then we'll head over to Zoom uh, for some time of prayer. So let's sing this song uh, before we head over to Zoom together. Let's pray. Sing.